Awful TV. I'm here with the cast of Comfort Slaves and their lovely director. How are you guys doing today? Not bad. Can't complain. Yeah, yeah good. 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 Enjoying the beautiful weather. <laughs> makes a, makes for a most change. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a bit about the show itself. Well, it's mainly centered around paedophile politicians and what they get up to behind closed doors. Um, it's it's an immersive piece, so the audience get involved and scared scared a lot. I would say. Yeah, the essential point is to go to a theatre show where you're not going to fall asleep, yeah. that's for sure. And you're going to come out like going, what the hell just happened to me? So it's a, again, it's experiential rather than just kind of intellectual experience. You're actually going to feel something in your gut, which is the whole point. And it's very topical. The former Prime Minister just found out as a child rapist or however you want to phrase it. And that's what it, the show's about. But it's also uh, the comfort slaves originally comes from the fact that we'd rather just go, oh, that's nice, than watch Britain's Got Talent. So a lot of the characters are also someone's going on a talent show, someone can't afford to buy food, and the sort of basic people who are affected by these guys who can, can do anything. So what would you say are the sort of overriding themes? Obviously sort of power and things like that and manipulation. Um, helplessness. Helplessness, yeah. The fact that normal members of the public, more rather than choose not to do anything, they can't do anything. Because there's so many people in power that are corrupt or rapists or whatever. Yeah, I'd say naivety as well. Like, yeah. a lot of people will be happy to voice their views on paedophilia or, or child rape, rape, but they don't get seem to get offended by that they'd get yeah. offended by things like swearing trivial things like that and that's what the show really tries to put across that you need to start wising up to this stuff there is no other show this year that's like this yeah. no, absolutely, yeah. that. so what do you want the audience to get from the experience of this show they're obviously going to be quite involved in it literally and physically and mm -hmm. um, but sort of when they're going out what do you want the sort of impact to be oh, I, I, I never think about the audience like that I can only write a show for what I would want to see. So when I've watched it, it's like, oh, I haven't got bored of it yet. So it's like, I, li I like that intensity. When I, a lot of shows, I don't want to criticise another show. That's what I like, intensity and come out, feel like I've lived through something that I can't get from just sitting down watching stuff. The audience is up to them, you know, I wouldn't want to think for someone else. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us today, guys. Is there anything else you want much. to say before we finish up? <laughs> Come see it. Come, Come see, see it. it yes. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, guys. You've been thank watching Waffle much. TV, sponsored by Boomers.